now we can look at splitting. So, this is some sense the opposite of what we did. So, there you took two independent Poisson processes and merged them. Now, what you are going to do is take one Poisson process and split, okay. How are you going to split? By tossing a coin, okay. So, here is a process, here is a Poisson process of rate lambda, okay. So, this n t is of Poisson process of rate lambda. Now, I have a coin, okay, a p coin with me, a p coin meaning it shows up heads with probability p and shows up tails with probability 1 minus p, okay. And this coin is tossed independently every time I see a arrival in the process, okay. And this coin has nothing to do with the process itself, coin is independent, okay. The coin toss, uh, so it is done every time there is an arrival, okay. So imagine you are looking at some radioactive decay, okay. Every time a counter, the, there is an em emission, a counter clicks, you toss a coin, okay. If it uh, shows up heads, let us say you send it up, okay. Send it up meaning you, you consider, you count it as an up process so to speak and if it shows up tails, which is probability 1 minus p, you send it down, okay. You consider it as a down, down arrival, okay. So, what happens, right. So, the first arrival showed up, okay, you toss a coin, okay, and this coin toss is independent of these uh, exponential random variables that are coming, coming at you. So, the first coin is, let us say the first arrival went up, okay. Next, the second arrival comes, you toss the coin, now this coin toss is independent of your previous tosses and any other inter arrival times etc you have seen from the process, okay. It is an independent coin toss. Let us say that also went up, the third one may go down, the fourth one may go up, the fifth one may go down and so on, right, clear. So, this is called IID Bernoulli splitting, right. This is the IID Bernoulli splitting. You take a, take a Poisson process of rate lambda and every time there is an arrival, you toss a coin. If it is heads, you send it up. If it is tails, you send it down. You get some two, two, two point processes, right. Let us call this N1T. This process is called N1T. This process is called N2T. Okay. Now, we want to characterize the <coughs> process that, that comes after splitting. So, you want to characterize N1 T and N2 T. Okay. So, the original process is Poisson of rate lambda. You want to know what is, what, uh, what properties does N1 T and N2 T have. Okay. Remarkably, N1 T and N2 T are also Poisson processes. Okay. <coughs> so, that is the main result. So, in the setting above, number 1, N 1 T is a P P of rate lambda P. Uh, 
So, exactly what is your question? You said that if the coin toss is not? So, you are looking at, so you, what you are saying, see the, it may, uh, so each time you are, you are throwing with the coin toss, is, coin is thrown, correct? And uh, it shows up heads with probability p uh, and it is, see uh, that only characterizes the marginal of that coin toss, right? I am saying that the joint distribution of all these coin tosses is independent of, I mean they are all independent and independent of the x i's, okay. That is what I am saying. Yeah, correct. The coin toss does not look at the process. No, I mean, so I, what you, your question is, I guess, what if you are, if you are likely to show up heads more likely if your, uh, if your inter arrival times are large or something like that, then this would not hold, is that your question? Yeah. It would not hold. Yeah, they would not be Poisson. So, I mean, what I mean is if the coin toss uh, showing up heads is somehow looking at the past inter arrival times, then this is not true, okay. I think that is, that is our question, that is not true then this property will not come up, okay. This is an IID Bernoulli split, okay. Independent identical distributed <coughs> coin toss, okay. Uh, and N 2 T is a Poisson process of rate lambda times 1 minus. Okay. So, there is, so you split up Poisson process with in this IID Bernoulli manner, you get two Poisson processes of rate lambda p and lambda 1 minus p. That is uh, I think is remarkable in itself. What is even more remarkable is that the split processes turn out to be independent. Okay. See, they are coming from the same Poisson process, right. So, furthermore, this is the most uh, remarkable thing. N 1 T and N 2 T are independent po Poisson process, okay. Independent Poisson process. I think that the second thing is even more remarkable. Right. See the first thing, see you are getting lambda arrivals per second roughly and you are sending fraction p of them up, okay. So, the up process should have rate lambda p that much is fairly straightforward and the down process should have rate lambda 1 minus p, right. But what this theorem is saying is that they are separately each Poisson processes and furthermore each of these, these two processes are independent, right, which is uh, absolutely, uh, in my opinion, absolutely surprising, right? Because they are coming from the same process, correct? But it turns out that they are independent. So, here is my point, right? If I split, see, if I give you two independent Poisson processes of rates uh, lambda p and lambda 1 minus p, I just two, give you two independent processes versus I give you, I take a lambda process process and split and give you the two splits. You cannot tell the difference, right. So, if there are two Poisson process coming from this IID Bernoulli split, there is no way to tell them apart from two process generated independently. Consider, so this is uh, pretty amazing, right. Suppose you have this radioactive particles coming at you, let us say from a sample, okay. Suppose I split them P 1 minus P. Okay, and I give you only these two processes. They will behave as though they are coming from two separate samples of the corresponding rates. Okay, although they are coming from the same, so this is a very remarkable property. Okay, this is a very highly non-trivial. Okay, again you can prove this in uh, uh, 
uh, any number of ways right, but I think the simplest is again look at the this lambda delta business right. So, we can use this definition 3. So, you look at a what happened? T T plus delta times ok. I am going to look at the probability that n tilde T T plus del n 1 tilde T T plus delta is equal to 0, meaning that in some interval T T plus delta there is no arrival in the up process ok. So, this can happen in two pos there are two possibilities I am looking at this T T plus delta and I want no arrivals in it. So, maybe that the original process had no arrivals in which case of course, there would not be any arrivals or the original process had an arrival, but it was sent down right. So, this is this will split into two disjoint events one corresponding to n tilde itself being 0 right. or that n till that. So, this guy right n n 1 till the t equal to 0 given n till the t t plus sorry n till the t t plus delta equal to 1 and it went down right which has probably 1 minus p right I am just using see I am ignoring. So, this is again this is true in the limit when delta is very small right because there could be more than 2 arrivals and all that. So, this is not really equal right this is approximately equal and becomes more and more true see this is the problem with this lambda delta approach there is some approximation involved but it is sometimes the most transparent way to see things ok. So, this is not really a exact equal to because there could be potentially two arrivals in the original process and both of them went down. What I wanted to say is that this guy is 1 minus p times sorry I made a mistake I am just writing total probability here right times probability that equal to 1. right sorry I made a mistake. So, now I now I think I have corrected it. So, I am writing first there is no arrival at all in the first process or there is an arrival and that guy went down right there is an arrival and that guy went down correct clear. So, this is what that there is no arrival in the first process. One minus lambda delta, right? This is from the first process, correct? Plus one minus p times. What is the probability that there is an arrival in the process? Lambda delta plus little o delta, correct? So, what does that work out to be? That is equal to see this lambda delta will cancel that that lambda delta correct. So, you will get 1 minus p lambda delta plus little o delta times little o delta plus 1 minus p little o delta which is just little o delta right. Now, likewise you can write <coughs> what is the probability that n 1 tilde t t plus delta equal to 1 this is equal to the probability that n tilde t t plus delta equal to 1 and 
it was sent up right. So, I should I basically I should write probability of n 1 tilde t t plus delta equal to 1 given n tilde t t plus delta equal to 1 which is simply times p right. So, this is equal to t lambda delta plus little o delta got it. So, you are getting the this Poisson property right at least the incrementals uh, incrementals are right. Now, you have to prove SIP and IIP ok. Now, SIP and IIP will come you have SIP and IIP for the original process ok and these Bernoulli coin tosses are independent in any of these uh, little slots right. If at all there is an arrival whether you send it up or down is independent of uh, what happened in the previous slots right. From this you will get you can prove SIP and IIP for the uh, up process and the down process separately ok. Clear? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. mm. Yeah, in exactly. So you can do it. I, I am doing a very rough calculation. So See, it would not make a difference. Yeah, you are right. So, see this is not really a proof if you were to write a textbook and if you give this as a proof I mean people will not accept it as a rigorous proof I am just indicating how it goes right. Uh, you are right ok. So, this is not strictly true this is approximately true and you send delta to 0 it becomes you know the approximation gets better and better. See the other remark I wanted to make is that this this lambda delta approach uh, is not enough to prove statement 2. See we have only proved that the first process is Poisson if you prove SIP IIP you will get first process with Poisson with, with rate P lambda. You can similarly prove that the down process is Poisson with, with rate 1 minus P lambda that you can do, but independence across these two processes you cannot prove ok. This is a much deeper property ok and I will uh, continue on this. Uh, tomorrow because it is a pretty subtle property. I will tell you just one sentence and finish this lecture. The independence of these two the after splitting the independence of these two processes comes from this very innocuous term of little o delta ok. Try digesting this now ok and we will do this next class. See if you had no little o delta term right. So, namely I tell you that there is 1 arrival with probability 1 minus la lambda delta and 0 arrivals with probability 1 minus lambda delta and that is it no little o delta ok. It is like this is really like a Bernoulli right 1 or 0 right. I am totally ruling out multiple arrivals in a time slot. Then in that case if I know that an arrival went up then I know that in that micro slot there cannot be an arrival in the down there is a down process. So, in that case are these two processes independent? They cannot be independent because if I know that there is an arrival in the up process I can I, I know for sure that there is no arrival in the down process, but in the Poisson process case that is not actually true they are independent the theorem says they are independent. Why? Because there is ever so small a probability that there are two arrivals. So, it is not completely ruled out right. So, this little o delta which is just been a sort of a nuisance for us so long is actually very important ok that is what enables this independence without that little o delta if that little o delta were precisely 0 then you cannot get independence as I just argued right. So, that is uh, so do not ignore that little o delta ok that is there I want to stop this lecture uh, tomorrow I will tell you how this independence actually shown ok. Uh, it is a non trivial property and you cannot use the lambda delta technique you have to go through the other one or the one of the other two definitions ok see you tomorrow.